come to another segment of our English class. I remain your English subject teacher, Miss George. Today's topic we are going to look at is the continuation of what you have because summary passage is not something you have to rush. There are other things that you should know and apply in order to write a good summary. A good summary. Then when we look at, we are going to look at the features. Just as we mentioned, first we let us recall our mind what we know about summary. And we say summary is all about writing brief, briefly, shortening your your writing, making sure that all necessary information contained when you're writing summary. Then what, the, what are we going to achieve at the end of this lesson? Definitely you'll be able to identify the key points or main points in the passage. You set some features of good summary, some of the features that will enable you write a good summary. After you might have recognize them, you apply it in writing, then you answer anyhow the question comes to be able to tackle it. That is the so aim of studying this summary writing. Now when we do one of the features of good summary writing we have relevance. Remember we discussed on brevity meaning brief. You have must must have to be brief in your writing and this time around you must be very relevant. What does what does it mean by being relevant? Being that you must write what is relevant to the original passage. What information you have in the original passage you must not add no subtract. Here we mean that the summary must reflect the original as accurately as possible. When you are supplying your answer, you must be very, very careful that you don't bring in information, extra information or information that does not contain in the original. It's very important to do that. And it must not include any facts or points not found in the original. We keep emphasizing on that. You must be very careful and be strict on your writing. Make sure that all your facts, your information is taken from the original passage. Anything you include which is not part of the original passage is extraneous, meaning it is extra, it is not necessary. In the sense that the inclusion is treated as failure to understand the original passage. Meaning if you if you write out, out of the out of point or out of the information given in the passage, it means that you are you are unable to understand the passage. That is what we mean by failure to understand. You, your inability to understand to grab the main point or the theme or the central knowledge of the passage. Now, what the example we mean by you understand by this example? Example A: You have as soon as you re, as soon as you regained consciousness. He demanded for food. A this is an, a, an extract is an expression that I want to use to show you how you can bridge it and be exact to what the passage is talking about. First example says, as soon as he regained consciousness, he demanded for food. That is what the expression gives. Now, if you now write contrary to what you see or bringing in irrelevant things, not relevant to the passage, you see this the writer says, when the man recovered, he demanded for rice and beans to enable him to regain his strength. Does he have anything? You see that he deviated from the main expression. This is what he expected to write. And this is what is given to him in the passage. But he added to so saying that when the man recovered, he demanded for rice and beans to enable him to regain his strength. Which of course is one, verbosity, and is also it lacks relevance. There is no relevance in the passage given to him that what he wrote. Now not only that, the second, this we are now trying to explain to you that the second expression is verbose. That is this expression. And it lacks merit and equally lacks what relevance. This is what we mean by lacking relevance. You see that what the expression gives here, we do not include rights, do not include but the writer on his zone now included this maybe to elaborate more on what it means no this is not what summary demands the summary means being strict go straight to the point and make sure that the point you enact it must be from the passage given to you does you don't need to give extra information maybe to boost your answer no go straight and give them what they want and it must be from the passage that's what we mean by relevance from this i think we have, you know, we are getting to understand more about summary passage, and by next class we will be able to know more on features and some of the facts that will enable us write a good quality summary. Thank you.